Welcome back. Today is the calm before the windstorm, if you will. Still some breezy conditions out there, especially in the northeast. A couple of 17 mile per hour winds sustained. 12 in Santa Fe. As we take a look back, plenty of sunshine for today, but that all starts to change tomorrow. Here is our system starting to pull into the California coast, and then it's going to make its way to New Mexico by tomorrow, and that's when we're going to crank up the wind machine. Calm for tonight. As we get going into tomorrow, though, we're going to increase some cloud cover, but the main story is going to be the wind with this system. It'll pull in and get right up to the four corners, and we're going to see winds very strong ahead of this. Now, we're going to get some snow out of it. Most of it is going to stay in the north. We could see some getting far down is the Gila and some in the northeast, but really the main story with this system is going to be the wind widespread throughout the state. It'll start from the west and then push over to the east, but a slight change chance for snow showers here in Albuquerque as we get into Monday night into Tuesday, but really once again the wind will be the main factor. We're going to take a look at that right now. Forecasted wind 6 p.m. We get our clock rolling for tomorrow morning. We'll start to see them approaching, not quite there, but as we get into the afternoon hours, we'll see them expanding throughout the state. This yellow is a 30 to 50 mile per hour gust, so along the Rio Grande Valley, we're seeing those very gusty winds and then overnight seeing them expand tomorrow morning, Tuesday morning, excuse me, you can see them going along the central mountain chain, even a 50 plus mile per hour gust for the Sacramento's and Guadalupe Mountains of southeast New Mexico. 1 p.m. on Tuesday, spreading through the I-40 corridor and then even continuing into the evening hours. Some things we are going to be concerned about will be high fire danger, especially the area you see here in orange. This is for uh, a high wind watch. That's for Tuesday, very dry. So 60 plus mile per hour gust possible, blowing dust, could be reduced visibility along I-25, and then some structural damage is possible. A 60 mile per hour wind can snap a tree limb, and uh, we have to keep that in mind, and especially that high fire danger because we are very, very dry. The good news is winds will start to die down by Tuesday, uh, excuse me, Wednesday, and uh, looking good after that. Temperatures not too bad around the state. We're also going to get some cooler air in with this system, so you'll see a little dip in temperatures as we get into Tuesday. Rain and then some snow for southern Colorado. Wolf Creek, Silverton could pick up a good amount of snow. Two feet isn't out of the question. Durango, really not as much snow. We'd be lucky with uh, an inch or two, but by the time we get into Wednesday, it'll clear, and then another shot for some rain and snow for Thursday and Friday. In the four corners, a rain and snow chance for tomorrow and then into Tuesday, but really the wind should be the bigger concern. That'll be the thing we notice the most. An inch isn't out of the question, though, for snow in the Farmington area. In southwest New Mexico, windy and dusty out there. That's mainly areas not in the Gila. We could see some rain and snow in the Gila, but as far south as Lordsburg, Deming, Las Cruces, wind should be the main concern and blowing dust out there and high fire danger. In southeast New Mexico, breezy. Could see some fog and then some rain. That'd be Monday into Tuesday, but really Tuesday, the wind should be the big concern because the winds will be kicking with that high fire danger. If we're going to see fog or rain, it should be closer to the Texas border. In northeast New Mexico, could see some early morning fog and then a slight chance for snow and then maybe even a uh, chance for rain as we get into the end afternoon hours. But for Tuesday, really, it's going to be the wind here as well. Temperatures will be hovering in the mid 40s and then starting to warm up as we get into the middle of the week. In northern New Mexico, windy conditions for tomorrow, a slight chance for some rain and snow. Best chance for snow is going to be Monday into Tuesday, tapering off by Tuesday afternoon. And then we're looking clear for the rest of the week in the East Mountains. Also a chance for some snow late, but windy conditions for tomorrow and into Tuesday. Here in Albuquerque, temperatures in the low 60s, partly cloudy and windy. A slight chance for snow Monday into Tuesday. But the big story will be the wind for both of those days. Also losing ground on our temperatures Monday into Tuesday. And they'll slowly get back to near 60. But hang on to your hats. It's going to be windy, blowing dust, the bags and all that. And uh, it could even blow the cars around. So please be careful out okay. there. Okay. Thank you, Ian. Mm -hmm. Now here's Lawrence Gilligan with sports. But at least you can wear shorts.